are you familiar with the Stellar Blade game? Have you looked at that at all? Or uh, No, this is the thing that everybody's kicking off about there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So here's the lead character, mm -hmm. Eve. Um, which, to be fair, look, I'm going to be completely honest. Have you? Are you a big gamer? Are you someone yeah, that yeah. plays a lot of games. games? Okay. Love games. So there's a particular type of game that comes from mostly Korean developers um, okay. where they just have like sexy characters basically grinding for hours and hours and hours on end. And they're designed to keep you playing the game as much as possible. And they do this because I do believe that the culture in some other countries is you play games at like cafes. So you mm -hmm. have to like get in as much time as you can as possible. Yeah. Um, but the character designs are usually very exaggerated. And that's sort of the style. They take like something really sexy or cool and they just exaggerate it. Mm -hmm. And that's so with a lot of games though, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, it is. So it's not an uncommon thing. So this yeah. character design seems to have a lot of people, I guess, upset about it. I don't care one way or the other. No, um, it's just typical gaming. Yeah. I think that all of it's kind of blown out of proportion, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. I think it is one of those things where it's like, oh, progressive people hate sexy women. It's like, I don't know where that came from or, or what started that. I guess it's the idea that a lot of the modern games with characters are getting more and more... Um, they're trying for re for realism. Remember, for the longest time, and I, I think this is something we have to understand, for the longest time, games could not achieve realism. Like, the reason why mm -hmm. characters look the way they looked is because it was impossible to make them look like real people. Yeah, it was all boxes. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, the polygon count, just the overall, the, the engine it was running on, it was impossible to take these characters and make them look real. We have reached a point now where it's very easy. I say easy. It's it's not as complicated as it was before to make characters look either like an actor, like an actual actor, or like a real person. Yeah. So a lot of games are going that direction. They're trying to make their characters look like people in the real world. And some gamers, and there's nothing wrong with this, some gamers prefer more of a fantasy thing where the characters don't look real. They don't like the uncanny valley vibe of a lot of the the games that they're playing yeah but i don't think there needs to be this culture war between like what a character model looks like in a game i think that's a little ridiculous no see there's there's two cool. points i have right so one yeah. is that like what you said before about um them trying to say oh they're just trying to like ban beautiful people or whatever it's like no it's all of you are gatekeeping as to who you think are attractive and beautiful people. Yes, what we're true. saying is that beauty is subjective and what you find attractive is your business. That's not mine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Second is that gaming is the same as any other retail space. It's all about preference and what you want, right? If I don't want like this type of sexualized character, I'm going to go to Nintendo. I'm going to play with some like Zelda or something. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Or I'm going to go to uh, a, a different company on Xbox and play some Hollow Knight or something, you know? Yeah. Like it, you go for what you want. And then these clearly have a market that they are pushing for. If that's not for you, then it's not for you. you know? And congratulations, the market that likes it wants to play it. So big win exactly. for the, for the company that made it. And, and, this all comes on the tail end of the whole um, DEI, uh, Sweet Baby Inc. Um, are you familiar with all that? Do you know anything about that stuff? Or yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Just that every like so, just that they were doing their job, minding their right. business, and everybody just started kicking up an uproar. Yeah, when it so, affected nobody. Well, yeah. Essentially, what happened is one employee got in their feelings about a person that was putting out a hit list of games that they made and basically people started going after the whole company employees that had nothing to do with any of that and then sort of making it seem like consultation is a is a negative and that there's some insidious reason why they're doing it even though it's an optional thing that these companies can choose to do or choose not to do and i've talked about this before actually let me move this off the screen because you know youtube is gonna be like oh what are, what are you doing i might even get hit already with that um but uh like for example if i made a game and it was in a fantasy world and i wanted to go and 
create something that was similar to another community in reality that I don't know anything about. Yeah. As someone who is writing the game, I can go, I can, I can look at it two ways. Like I could say, I'm going to write it the way I want to write it. And it doesn't matter to me if it's real or not. Like, I don't care and take a chance on offending a bunch of people. That's one, that's one way you could look at it. Um, and that's a valid way. If that's the way you want to write your stories, the way you want to write your stories. Uh, but the other way is you could say, I want this to feel authentic. So I'm going to reach out to a company that can bring people in that will tell me this is the way it should be because it's not, this is not the way this community really would, res would respond to this or, their opinion of this and that. So you call in this consultation firm to do that for you. And they're not writing the story for you. They're telling you like, hey, this may not work. You might want to try another way. And then it's on you on whether or not you decide to do that. Yeah. And they're trying to somehow take that controversy and roll it over into the Stellar Blade thing, which is so weird to me because Stellar Blade isn't a DEI connected game as far yeah. as I know completely separate right um yeah 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 and then uh this article here it talks about it this is an interview with um with uh what is this here it says uh seller blade the upcoming sci-fi i'm actually gonna blow this up a little bit it's a little tiny Oh, much better. Stellar Blade, the upcoming sci-fi action RPG from Korean studio Shift Up, has been thrust into the center of video game culture wars that seem as old as gaming itself. The fight can be mostly clearly seen as late in the vocal pushback against the narrative consulting company Sweet Baby Inc. for pushing to have more gasp diverse female characters. A select few Steam and Twitter users are up in arms. Now these vocal few are praising the buxom and bouncy protagonists of Stellar Blade Eve. They say evokes a time uh, they miss when women in games used to be titillating and attractive and caters to the so-called male gaze. I do want to reiterate again that we're talking about polygons, like square boxes. If you're going back to like the first Tomb Raider, you remember what Laura Croft looked like? I mean, it yeah. was literally like torpedo boobs. There were it was yeah, no yeah. shape to them whatsoever. <laughs> so, I mean, what are we talking about? What's the conversation we're having here? Um, let's see, Maestro says, they say progressive people don't like sexy characters because a handful of annoying journalists whining about sexualization in, in games or comics. That is, I mean, and I think you understand this, Maestro, and a lot of people that come here probably understand this. That is just an overreaction to several people giving editorials about their feelings on things. And again, people can have opinions. There's nothing wrong with that. And I don't necessarily always agree with them. I don't think there is no. anything wrong with this character being exaggerated. That's my take on it. I don't understand the outrage uh, on, in either direction about it. It's a little weird to me, honestly. Um it says, uh, an academic term coined by film theorist Laura Mulvey in 1973, the male gaze is often portrayed as seeing a scantily clad woman on screen being bad. According to Dr. Matt Denny, a film and television studios teaching fellow at the University of Warwick, Denny adds that the gaze is also about an assumed straight male spectator. So simply making something specifically for straight men to look at is considered a male gaze game tv show movie whatever uh character and i want to say i feel like it's changed a lot since 1973 i feel like 1973 was so far removed from where we are now that um i mean that was before i was even born so like we're talking about a, a long time since this came out i think that, that the idea of the male gaze has sort of changed and morphed into something more nuanced than just like this is that a yeah. fair assessment yeah, I would say so. I say so. It's a, yeah. a, 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 about an assumed straight male spectator. Yeah. That's the bit that's getting me as well. So yeah, they're I just mean, saying that only straight men can have, like, a, a check on something with a male gaze? Which which is why the term now probably need, it either needs to be changed or updated. Because, hmm. I mean, are we, we're talking about the fact that it, for straight for a straight male spectator, right? So we're excluding like bisexuals, uh, but I, pansexuals, that is my point, right? so I'm lesbians. Bi like, I'm bisexual, so I would have like I would I would like look at men, well, but like uh, trans people too. So maybe pansexual, right? So like I would look at all of those people with my mm. gaze. Do you know what I mean? So I don't understand like. What they what they're doing there? Yeah, I mean, I think it just needs to. It's an uh, it's a term that I feel is outdated, um, honestly. Massively, yeah. So here we're gonna. This will probably be the last thing we look at. It's a very long article. Um, if you guys are interested, it is on Inverse, 
and the title of it is stellar blade in the male gaze um i should have linked it i didn't think about it i do apologize there's a lot here um but i just want to read this next little paragraph and then we'll uh shift topics but uh, it says developer shift up appears to be leaning into the male gaze heavily on its Twitter account and on interviews. It's made sure to draw close attention to the fact that Eve's body is taken of scans from Korean model Shin Jae-un game director, Kim, I guess it's Wang Tae, Wang Tae, um, or Tai justified the choice of the body model by saying we wanted to come up with the most attractive looking body for the user. PlayStation's pr promotional material has backed this up with the Instagram trailers focused on the revealing outfit players can dress Eve up. Shift Up did not return a request for comment. So something I do want to point out, though, before we move on, and we'll, we'll talk about this for a moment, but the face is not the model. They made the face up. So it's literally just her body mm -hmm. with like a artistic features or whatever yeah. in the face uh which some people seem to have an issue with that too they're like why would you scan her body and then not use her face because she's very attractive so it's not yeah. it does it's not like she's you know unconventionally attractive i mean she's just an attractive person mm -hmm. period but it's i mean it could have been her request maybe she didn't want to be in the game maybe but let, you know? let's be fair i mean like the reason that casting directors go through so many people is because some people like are kind of right some people are really close and then some people are just like there do you know what I mean mm -hmm. so maybe she just like her faces wasn't what they wanted to use you know what I mean it just yeah. could be uh, just as simple as that and who cares if she's okay with well, it who cares? exactly but we don't see the thing is since there's no comment from shift up or the person or the model right there's no mm -hmm. comment from that people are running crazy with these theories about it and saying, oh, this is just them objectifying her body because they didn't want to use her face and all this other stuff. We don't know what any of that means. Ultimately, yeah. it's a game. The developers have decided that this is the vibe they're going for. 